All right, there's a lot of folks at Arrowhead exchanging high fives. Just don't let the head coach catch you expressing any type of jubilation in the aftermath of clinching the AFC West title. You know what? This should be an opportunity for every football fan in this town to go ahead and celebrate to your delight. Heck, the players were not even allowed to talk publicly about the playoffs. What is with this coach anyway? That incident when he yanked Matt Castle at the end of the third quarter in Sunday's game is inexcusable. When explaining his action, Haley gave the appearance he was trying to lie his way out of it. He said, and I quote, we had to clean up something strategically. Come on now, look at the tape. Haley wouldn't even talk to Castle. He turned his back on the quarterback. How can you clean up anything if there's no communication? Haley apparently thought the quarterback was changing some of his plays and he was supposed to call him and he didn't. Anyhow, Brody Croyle was in for just a couple of snaps, just long enough to throw a pick and really make Haley look stupid for pulling Castle out of the game. This head coach should be praising the quarterback at every turn, not embarrassing him on a day the Chiefs clinched the division title. And by the way, Castle had a 128 quarterback rating in the Tennessee game. Let's face it here, folks. Without this quarterback and the two coordinators, Todd Haley would be donning one of those tailor-made golf visors and teaching rich little old ladies how to swing a golf club at some swank country club in the Arizona desert. Come on, coach. Let's enjoy the moment. It's been 17 years since we've celebrated a playoff victory in this town. It's time you might let your guard down and savor the moment. Be one of us for a change, just for a day. That's Jack Smack.